If you have a double coated dog, you wanna be able to see their skin. I can see his skin nice and clear, and that is a good sign. If you can't see the skin, all it means is that you need to brush it a little bit better. So here I have shampoo mixed with water. I could put this directly on him dry or wet him down and then put this on. And the key with the double-coated dog is to get the shampoo right down to the skin. I'm just going to take the tip of his ear, pin it down like this, get it wet with shampoo water, and I've completely avoided the inside of his ear, and use my hand to work the shampoo into the top of his head. So I just put a bunch of water and shampoo here, and I'm just gonna like move it forward. Just go really slow and get a squeeze bottle, and then you won't have to worry about like an avalanche of water <laughs> in their nose. Let's work on that body. So I'm just gonna work in the shampoo bit by bit. I break it down into sections and I do one full leg at a time. And I start with the armpit and go all the way down. And I just work the shampoo into his feet and I go all over his foot and leg. While I'm here, I'll get his chest and neck as well. And I'm making sure it's really hitting the skin so that he's completely saturated. A lot of dogs will have this on their tush, you know? No judgment here, but let's get it clean. This is the intimate part of dog grooming. So I'm just gonna get his entire leg and his tush. And so now is the part where I know his head, all his legs and body and rear, they're all full and saturated to the skin with shampoo. So now I let this sit for five minutes. My key main goal with a double-coated dog is to get to the root and the skin. So I wanna make sure his skin and everything is completely rinsed. Rinse longer than you think you need to. And you can see I'm gonna use my hand to work the water through. If you don't have a hose with this kind of pressure, you can also use a bucket or a pitcher with just water, and I'm still using my hand to work the water through. And do this several times, and you'll really rinse it clean. So I like to have a dedicated squeeze bottle and a dedicated pitcher just for water, and I never put shampoo in them. This hand is kind of like my eyes. It's feeling for shampoo. It's also pulling out all of this undercoat. So I'm really releasing that undercoat. Make sure you look at your dog's butthole. And I'm saying this with love. Look at that, I missed it. So yeah, I'm just gonna rip it off, rinse it. No judgment. If, that's, if you're squeamish about that, come to terms with it. I add a little conditioner with some water and I mix it together in this mixing bottle and just work it on the feet everywhere, including the face. So I would just put it on my hands. See how fast I could do this with a squeeze bottle? It's kind of like why I like doing it this way. Just working the conditioner in to the skin, getting every inch, including his feet. Why not condition your dog's feet? Give him a nice foot massage. This is a, a typical area for undercoat to get impacted. So really work on the rear and the chest. I like to let the conditioner sit for about three minutes, but if you're working it in for a few minutes, that's all you really need to do. When you're rinsing conditioner, it can be deceiving. It's hard to feel if it's really rinsed out. So just rinse as much as you can, more than you think you need to. So I start with the top and then work my way under. Okay, so Bill is completely rinsed. So I have a fancy dryer that has a nozzle. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna blow off all of his undercoat. 